There are advanced share screen options in Zoom and in this video we are discussing four. PowerPoint as virtual background, portion of screen, computer audio and video. The first option allows your saved lecture PowerPoint to be your virtual background. Once you've selected and chosen the PowerPoint, it gets loaded together with your image on the screen. It places you into your slide. Your motions during the presentation will be visible by the students, especially when you locate yourself at a place that you would really want to highlight. With the editing boxes around your image, you can resize and locate it within any location. As you are presenting and flipping through the slides, you can also relocate yourself at a position that is best for the viewers so that the contents are not being blocked. You can always move within the slides using the arrows that you can locate at the bottom of the screen. The second option, which is portion of screen. This allows the presenter to only share what is inside of the green box. You can always resize the green box to only highlight a specific portion of the document or an image that you would want to present. And it will not present the whole screen. If you have two screens, you can always drag the green box to either one of the screens that you want to focus on. Screen sharing for users should always be disabled whenever this feature is used. When you are presenting with portion of screen option, the area that has been uh, specified for presentation will always be seen as a bigger version on the participant's uh, view. The third option, computer audio, will allow you to only share the sound and not your screen. For example, if you want to share audio from a movie, the participants will only listen to the audio without viewing anything. Lastly, video option. With this option, it allows the presenter to only share videos that has already been saved in your computer and not from a browser. Vinakkam.